Hey, what's going on guys? So got the Continental moved out. So we're gonna be working on our trailer. But what plans are today are for this video. Let's try to make a dovetail because we can't move any cars because we can't get any cars up there. So we need the dovetail and we're gonna build some ramps on top of that. Uh, we got this steel here. Um, we got two by three by three sixteenths uh, for the square tubing or the rectangle tubing and then three inch by three inch by three sixteenths for the angle iron. That's what we're assuming that uh, we're gonna need. We made plans, gonna post it right now. And this is what we're going off of. So we got this, uh, I think this is a Traeger, almost like the Smoker brand. 125 is what we're gonna cut all our C channel with. Um, don't know where the C channel, what size it is. No, it's a four inch. But uh, yeah, we got that for really cheap. So we're just gonna run this stuff, figure out we're going to make, how we're gonna make it. He's gonna cut. We're gonna do 15 degree. Plans are to do a 15 degree dip. And then I think they're gonna be about four and a half feet or four, four, four feet, four feet, maybe four and a half feet. We'll, we'll see what we're gonna do. But uh, yeah, let's get this party started because we should have started a long time ago. All right, so we got one off. So this is our 15 degree cut. Uh, we need to use it as a spacer. So we got this other one because we're making an opposite. So it's flipped the other way because the saw blade only cuts, in theory, one angle. So we'll get this cut and then uh, see what's next. All right, so this is where we're at. So we got our 15 degrees. And that's kind of walking back a little bit. That's kind of the angle that it will be at. Uh, so now we're going to go get the four... I'm just gonna measure the four foot mark from here to here. It might be that mark right there. And then we're gonna cut that as well. And then we'll do it to his other side and then go from there. Doesn't happen very often, but it's some good measuring and cutting. So not too bad. Now right, we're gonna go cut this piece. This is the, the bottom section so they're gonna weld to this back portion and then everything else is gonna weld to that all right so we're gonna cut these ears off so they fit inside here and then yes trim this on all four those two those two and then yeah then we should be ready for welding soon All right, so we got all these all these pieces prepped to be welded. So we got the both sides. We we'll got that all done and cleaned up. So now we're gonna go tack this on there and tack that, and then work on getting that piece on. That should be it for today, right? Yeah, this helmet don't fit very well. Yo, get rid of that fro, dude. Dude, you know I'm not that good. You thought you were? I got it. It's at zero. It's at zero. It's, it's at zero. Freaking weld it. Oh weld it. It's at zero. Oh Just do the, yeah, do the bottom. Whatever else you want. The top? Hold on. Hold it. Bottom to zero. I don't know. Push it up. Is it at 15 still? Hey, 
the first piece is on. Point one, why don't you let go? <laughs> Sheesh, that was difficult. <laughs> All right, we got the outside structure on. We just got attacked in four corners. Same with that side. So now we're gonna go add our eight foot piece. It's gonna go on the bottom or yeah, the back's gonna be the back plate. And uh, yeah, I'll probably call it a day after that. Looks good, the gaps are a little big, but it'll get filled up. It'll be fine, fill all that in. All right, welded in, Nish. You know what, you're calling that good? Yeah, I can't change it. Exactly. You did? All right, so this is what we got so far. We'll weld all that up. And just weld all this up. day two this is what we got finished so far welds in in the dark wasn't too bad not too bad filled the gaps in uh the only thing i gotta do did the oh rephrase did the interior i just gotta weld the bottom on both sides but everything else is done so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the we're gonna build the bars that are coming down so there's gonna be three other bars coming down at 15 degrees so we're gonna go cut this right now we got it set up cut the 15 degrees cut it at um words cut it at four feet because that's how long we need it and then uh start welding more stuff in So this is what they look like when they're cut, not the issues, and then when they fit together, that's what we're going for. So let's go get that put in and see if it fits. So strong. Is it going to fit? Is the question. Is it beautiful? Whoa. It looks pretty good. It's not straight, but is mine beautiful? Let's see how Ishes fits. No, 
Uh, well, you gotta go here. Obviously, mine's gonna oh. go better. I don't know. Mine's pretty good. Oh. You know, if it don't fit, I blame distortion. It's just as well. Push it down. If not, man. You literally just push on it. Huh? Just push on it. It already is down. That's not bad. Yeah. Long, it's like what we we know what we're doing. That's uh <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm very surprised. Yeah. Nice. What one more? Yeah, we gotta do one more. You wanna knock it out? Uh sure. Alright, so progress updates. So we got this bar going in. Got that there. We yeah. got this second one in. Cuts aren't very bad, like I don't know. Weld it up should be perfect. Uh, we got the last two over there. We still got to cut and make it fit into this. Those are going to go. There's some I beams that are on the brace that are underneath the main trailer. So we're going to line those up with that. And then we're going to get take this all apart and clean up all the metal. And so that's kind of where we're at right now. You're right there. Thick, but why? That is a little thing. That's fine. We can cut it. All right, flip it over. Do it again. Stick it in the middle right there. Where's the mark? Uh, th there is no marks for it. We still haven't figured it out yet. Oh, we haven't? Yeah, just put it in. I know the I-beam's like, I don't know, guess right here. Oh, she's short. Ooh. What happened? I oh, don't know. Might be bent. Huh? It might be bent. It might be bent. Oof. Oof. Uh, we're not too sure what happened. We somehow we lost them, uh, like a quarter, quarter to eighth of an inch off of these ones, or off the ones we made for this space. So what we did was switch them because um, this slide was actually longer, so it fits better. So now we're gonna have to number them to make sure. What are you doing? Why don't you hit that one? just slid it over. What, is that where it's going now? Yeah, it's literally going over. What are you doing? Sir, what are you doing? Right there. Right here where the I-beam is. The I-beam is like right here by the trailer on the trailer sticker. Uh, so it's like here? Yeah, it goes right there. Let's put that one in. fit better yeah it looks like it fits way better all right cool we can live with that sweet well you are eighth inches on them i don't know what happened <laughs> but it looks good that's how it's gonna go that's pretty much what the structure is gonna look like not bad it looks pretty stout it looks good okay oh so how's the angle iron gonna work here then it doesn't matter we'll figure it out 